haven't spoken to you in so long but I thought today I was very excited to show you some new blushes that are amazing they're affordable they're pigmented they go on so nice and they last for a really long time so you can't really go wrong and you can understand why I'm just dying to share it with you I've got six color pop blushes to share with you I actually want to swatch them on my cheek so if you've noticed my face looks a bit weird because I've got eye and lip makeup on and then just the face is a bit flat so let's fix that this is the size of the eyeshadow and this is the size of the blush these have the same texture as the eyeshadows which is quite bouncy there's different methods that you can apply this with and also run through with you some different ways that you can wear blush because depending on the skin type and the look you're after you can actually wear blush many many different ways this is the color prenup and as you can see it is quite a bridal kind of finish like a very flushed type of uh, finish so there's one way that you can apply these colors and that's with your fingers because they are quite creamy and they do apply like a cream blush so one way that I like to apply blush especially if you've got a round face this will work for you is to look at where your iris ends so you would then pop that blush up your cheekbone up on the side all the way to the edge of your hairline and if you notice that as I'm applying this with my fingers I'm actually not moving the makeup underneath around so that's a plus if you're after a girly pink flush then I really think this color will go well this next shade is called trickery and it is a little bit more of a peachy color if you compared it to the last one I love these kind of colors in the summer when you have a little bit of a tan going on so for this color what I'll do is I'll show you how to create a really doll like cheek look so I'm going to use a synthetic brush because it's and it picks up quite a bit of part there so if you use a brush that isn't very dense like this one at all and apply it to your cheek it will actually blend it out very nicely sometimes with blush you don't really want to go overboard anyway so what I'll do is I'll show you how I create a very doll like blush look so basically you can place the blush a little closer to the center of your face on the apples of your cheeks and in circular motions blend that out to the side this kind of blush placement is great if you're after a very youthful more doll like look so as you can see it does show very true to color it is a peachy the next color I have is a hot coral this color I think a lot of people will like compare it to trickery you can see trickery is a little bit lighter and a bit more peach with this coral color what I'm going to do is probably apply it a little bit more dramatic and like the 80s so using another stipple brush because it's not very dense very high on the cheekbone almost where my highlighter will normally go I will apply it starting from my hairline and then brushing it down and then even up in a little V it's hard to tell because I've got a fringe now this is a really nice way to apply blush especially if you've got a more round face like I do so this hot coral is holiday oh, you're gonna die when you see this one ah! <laughs> this one's called tonic and it is a bright orange this bright orange color will look great on those with deeper deeper skin tones and if i've been fake tanning i'll definitely wear this shade for those of you who have narrow long faces what you'd like to do ideally if you place your blush more of a on a horizontal line it'll actually balance your features out using another duo fiber uh, face brush this one is a bit 
less dense than the others and it's also quite large because it will help me apply the blush in that kind of way. So. People with uh, that kind of face shape actually don't even need any contour so you can kind of use it in place of contour because you're applying it basically straight across. Oh, this colour is amazing, it's so orange. This is beautiful. This next one is so pretty, it's called Quarters and it's like a rosy kind of color with a little bit of terracotta and a slight mauve undertone don't know if that makes sense to you guys at all but I'll show you what it looks like regardless so with this one i want to use it more like an all-in-one contour and blush I think this is um, one of those colours that will work really well for medium skin tones as an everyday kind of blush. It's kind of shifted and hitting me this way. You can actually see that this has a satin sheen to it. So you actually don't need a highlighter when you wear this type of blush. It's like there isn't any glitter or sparkle. It's just a really glossy look as you can see. Really digging this one. I kind of moved a little bit because the sun was really, really annoying me. But I've got an awesome colour to show you all. It is called Aphrodisiac. I know it's a weird name. I even feel weird saying it on my channel. But it's this beautiful, beautiful brown topi. I don't know. I don't think this would make a gorgeous eyeshadow but the way that I would use this is to contour now if you have deeper skin tones you actually might love this as a blush let's try it I'm gonna try to use it on my fingers ah, pretty. yeah this shade reminds me of NYX's uh, blush and tote and it's what I use to contour my face in the winter when I'm really really pale. A little bit of this. Wow. That is like the easiest nose contour I've ever done. Voila! Seriously. Love! I'm so sorry guys, I totally lost footage of two blushes. One of them is the colour Bonus. It's a beautiful peachy colour. It's a little bit deeper than the peach one that I tried on yesterday. So I just want to swatch them for you. I really, really like this colour. It's called Bonus. And then the other one that I forgot to swatch for you is this beautiful shade called Homey. Just look at it. <laughs> so this is a fuchsia purple. Look at that. It goes on so nice. This one is actually matte, but because I'm using artificial lighting at the moment, there's a lot of sheen bouncing off it, but I would just ignore that sheen um, and just look at the colour because that's how it turns out. Really digging this one. There really isn't a reason not to try this brand and this blush. They're affordable, they're cruelty free, they're made in the USA but they ship internationally to Australia and New Zealand. They're a very unique texture they're fun to apply and look at the color range like you just it, it suits any skin tone you'll find a color that suits you and i really hope you guys enjoyed my cheek swatch kind of way of reviewing these have a good day guys Bye. just keep your eye on